Hey guys, today we're back with American Truck Sim. We're going to be heading from Medford, Oregon to Eureka, California. We're going to be hauling a 40,000 pound tree stumper. It's going to be a $30,000 paycheck for us. Now today guys, we're going to be using this 2018 Volvo Legacy Sleeper here. It's fully loaded just north of $200,000. But today guys, the haul is going to be almost 5 hours over 250 miles here for us. You guys can actually see, look at where we are. We were actually here at a full logging operation doing a little bit of off-road dirt driving here with a Volvo. But let's hop back and let's get this thing fired on up here. Now this is powered by Cummins, a 600 horsepower diesel engine here. We're all ready to go i did double check the chain so let's uh drop the parking brake and let's head on out now i'm really excited to be back here in american truck sim i've been featuring it every single week for all of you guys and you guys seem to be really enjoying it here but look at this sawmill you guys can see it's a pretty big logging operation look at the machine going wow american truck sim is so cool but that's something i really want to get back into with farm sim is definitely the logging side of the game here now one thing guys we do have to go pretty slow here we don't want to end up doing any damage to our little boy, uh, to the uh, machine, or even to our truck going fast on these dirt roads. There, uh, on the way in, there were a few bumps and things like that, and I can definitely feel that the truck is uh, definitely getting a pretty big workout, especially traction-wise. We don't want to lose traction and end up sliding or even uh, digging uh, tire ruts or anything like that. Now, like always, guys, please hit the like button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithms, and it does let me know you guys do want to see more here. But I will say, guys, hauling through Oregon, especially to California, is a pretty sweet thing here. Now, one thing, guys, I'm not exactly sure what's happening here with the mirrors. Let me know down below if you do know a fix here for it. But uh, the funny thing, guys, when I hopped in the truck this morning, we have two GPS systems. Hey, I mean, uh, that means if we get lost, we have two systems that uh, uh, decide not to choose the right uh, route here for us but we are trying to go extremely slow making sure we don't do any damage We're going over a small bridge here with a stream down below here. Now, with 40,000 pounds just alone in that, we do want to be pretty careful here. But look at this, guys. This is unbelievable. I would say we we're probably three, four miles on dirt roads here. We're actually pretty far into uh, the uh, forest, into this mountain here, which is a pretty sweet thing. But hey, I really do want to get into more uh, kind of equipment hauls here. We've done quite a lot of lumber and a lot of kind of flat uh, bed hauling. But I really want to get back into low boys uh, since these are what I really they do like here as well but really do like the volvos especially this one here has a really cool interior but one thing guys i've tried to just feature all the different truck brands rotate through and you guys seem to be really liking that here so let me know guys what should we use next maybe a western star but i really want to get an old cab over a few of you guys requested it and i will say they are a bit hard to find especially uh for the latest update here for american truck sim but that would be so much fun uh, to have one of those here but luckily we do have a sleeper because once we get this dropped off i think i'm gonna uh, kind of go back there and rest uh for the rest of the day oh man guys we're finally back on payment here which is definitely pretty exciting let's see here we do want to go south here and oh look at that we do have a little break in traffic we do have some semis but they are uh coming pretty slow here as well now one thing guys with a little boy uh, it is a pretty big one here not as big as some of the other ones so it's really just an oversized uh length wise but uh we are definitely at a heavy haul here today really do like these as well uh, we do get uh, paid a lot of money almost uh, thirty one thousand dollars for today's haul and we just entered california that's pretty exciting here i really do like it one of the best things about uh, american truck sim guys is all the graphics everything from the train to all the little details that is so cool to even see those signs i do know when you go state to state you do see welcome and that is just so cool neat features that really do make this game pretty awesome here but a few updates for you guys I have quite a few things here in the works. I am working on the landscaping series. Lots of different things, including uh, some new mods you guys will be seeing in some upcoming videos here. And I do have some plans for some multiplayer content, which should be a lot of fun here. Just lots of things still uh, that I can't wait to reveal once the time comes here. But we're still getting up to speed. We're only at, I believe, yeah, 45 miles per hour. And this thing keeps on climbing. 
here we have it guys, a tunnel going through the mountains, that's pretty exciting here, usually I uh, don't have something like this all the time here, but wow, I mean, hey, if you can't go around the mountain, why don't you go right under it with a tunnel, I mean, that is going to save us quite a bit of time here, looks like we are going just a little bit over the speed limits, and there's a rest stop, hey, I think we should be able to make the drive, I am checking my temperatures here, looks to be a 96 degrees out here in California, whoa, I mean, that is extremely warm here, so we do just want to keep the temperatures in mind but hey I'm gonna focus on driving and we'll catch you guys back We're driving through some pretty neat mountains here. Oh, look at that. You could get a picture. But oh boy, guys, we do have to definitely keep our speeds down. A few of these curves, a few of these sections of road are definitely a bit too sharp to even be going the speed limit here. And oh, look at that. There's a state trooper in front of us as well. So we do have to be careful on our speed. But let me know down below, guys, how has your summer been? Mine's been pretty good. I've been really enjoying the warm weather. I've been doing quite a few things with friends. And I even went hiking, which was a lot of fun here. But let me know down below if you did any cool things or anything like that here but once again guys I'm not exactly sure what's up with these mirrors here they're a bit too over bright uh, from what they usually are here could be just uh, since this is a, a modded semi not the in-game one here but once again I'm just gonna keep on going down the road here 250 miles is quite a lot uh, but we're gonna get there in no time we're going from the mountains to the ocean side, the Pacific Ocean over there. That is unbelievable. I will say, one of the best things about this game is you get to drive all over all the different states and just enjoy those scenic views here. I wish there was a pretty good area. It looks like there's a little bit of room there, but I think we're just going to keep on going. We have a deadline to reach, but oh boy, I wish I brought my camera. I wish I brought my uh, drone to take some pretty cool pictures there, but so far, really not much traffic. I'm a bit surprised by that, but we aren't really going through the cities we're just on kind of country back roads and oh boy guys right as that look at that that is a pretty sweet thing there that is so cool magic trees oh I wish we could stop there they even have bushes that spell out uh, magic trees which is a pretty sweet thing it's just before 5 p.m. Looks like we're going to get there right after 6 p.m. here. So just a little bit over an hour left here, which isn't too bad. And we have just around 70 miles left here. So we made really good progress. And hey, I should be able to get a good bite to eat here. Hopefully I can find a local diner as well that does uh, have great food. But one thing, guys, I really do want to try uh, some multiplayer convoys. I think that would be a lot of fun uh, to get quite a few people in the game to you know, do convoys uh, to the same places and things like that here so there's so many things I'm looking at here to help increase uh, the interactions here with my videos especially a lot more multiplayer videos as well but you guys can see I am just trying to get up and around these uh, few trucks here but it looks like we're now going to be behind this target one here we're coming up on the last 15 miles here of today's haul. Coming up on a little bit of construction. That's a pretty cool truck there. Looks like they're just now picking up the cones there. But oh, oh boy, we are taking a right here. Look at that. We just arrived here in Eureka. We're trying to make this turn here. Now, one thing I do always have to remember with a stretch sleeper and a pretty long little boy is that we have to take really wide turns here. But I will say, guys, today's haul was actually really good. I almost have a feeling we're going to bottom out right there with the little boy looks like we didn't which is a good thing there but wow look at that Eureka definitely has some pretty cool areas looks like a small river sailboats and a few boats over there that's something I actually want to try uh, I really want to haul some boats uh, there's big money in that and hey that's something pretty unique as well here but you guys can see we actually made it here really good time which is uh, definitely a uh, pretty good here and I will say guys a Volvo definitely has a really good interior for road trips it's very comfy with that air ride and all the features bells and whistles this thing has was a pretty sweet thing here but wow we made it here pretty good time almost I would say a little bit earlier than what I was even thinking uh, which is a good thing here for us but we have arrived here we're gonna turn right on in and let's see let's see where they do want a tight turn there just making that one wow and this is gonna be a little tricky to get backed on in so I'm gonna put down the camera here call it a day and I will get this unloaded but hope you guys enjoyed today's video we definitely uh, were using a very nice Volvo definitely standing out on the road bright yellow big uh, Volvo truck which was pretty neat here and we did I uh, get here to the drop-off but until next time guys thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more